Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Skyrim. We're in the middle of a dungeon, the Dweamer Dungeon of Doom, with our favorite person to hate, Mercer Frey. So we're just going to go ahead and seek along here. I did recharge my bow. Um, that is not my bow. I thought I had my bow out. Not my bound bow, though that is a little tempting. Should we try to... I was going to try to improve my conjuration, wasn't I? I was. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Then I stopped using arrows, which is probably just for the best. I don't have no idea what these things are used for. Sure, why not? Greater soul. Sure thing. Sure thing. Only one of them there? It looks like more, but okay. This is totally the wrong direction. I pointed ourselves in this direction last episode, and I said, that's the way we need to go. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. nope. So this is just dead end, isn't it? Could be. So, did we come up from this direction? I don't even remember. Well, there's a thingabob there. But it kind of looks like a trap. But did we come from... I don't even remember where we came from. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, those guys are dead now, so... The fact that they weren't dead before indicates this might be the way I need to go. Even a farmer don't deserve the pain these implements must have inflicted. The dwarves were a cruel race. Oh, uh, we should probably turn it off. Don't mind me, guys. Just uh, doing random shit. Well, let's take care of the fun. Do you guys mind? You're crowding me here, boys and girls. Come on. All right. Well, the warmonger died in like one hit, so I'll just take everything he has. The honed farmer sword is probably still pretty shit. 26. Yep, that's pretty shit. My current sword does 87, I think. Though that is a product of uh, me being a very good blacksmith at the time. Right now, not so much. And take that stuff. Lingering stamina potion. Sure, why not? Why not? Could just sit on a random stove bench for no reason. Or go on the rack for whatever. No, we're not going to do that. I think this is the way to go. The fact that there were bad guys here probably indicates that's the way we go. Ow. 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 Yeah, just uh, just walk through the flames, guys. It's fine. I stepped on a trap because I'm an idiot and I don't look for these things. I do miss... Oh, now what? We can sneak through or take them down. I don't care. As long as we get to Mercer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Whatever you want to do, we're with you. I mean, you guys are probably just going to charge in blindly anyway, so whatever. I'm okay with murdering these guys. I heard something. Enough games. Let's end this. He just he just healed himself. That's rude. Only I'm allowed to do that. I'm the player character. I'm allowed to heal myself. You ever have that happen in a in a tabletop game where the uh, the DM has the bad guys heal themselves? It feels like bullshit every time. It's totally fair game. It just feels like bullshit every time. And he heals himself for 35 points of damage. What? No. How is he allowed to heal himself? Every time. Every time. Okay. Did I just... I took some serious damage there. I need to not take damage, though. Did Carlisle and the whatnot actually... Did they die? They didn't die, did they? No, they're fine. Okay, I would like to close my wounds, please. Um, here we go. Oh, Carla is... Yeah, she's hurt. If I managed to hit her, she'd be dead. So don't do that. Okay, that worked out. Carla will get her up. She'll get up eventually. It's fine. She's immortal. She's story-locked, basically. He's still going for me. This could be bad. Um... Don't worry about it, guys. I got this. I think they got the message. Might have been a mistake to kill those guys, but oh, do you know what? I can level up, huh? I totally should have leveled up. And yeah, there she, there you go. She's fine. It's been a while since we leveled up. I would like some. Hmm. <laughs> it's been a while since we hit stamina. It's been a bit. All right. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Okay, I was trying to do a better conjuration for some god awful reason. What we're doing? I mean, that's interesting. Don't get me wrong. Why are we doing this, though? I don't remember. Go up this way. Void burn, which is cool. 
Okay, having magic and stamina regeneration. I wish it had health too, but alright. We're both depleted, energy starts to bound on our feth. Okay, cool. Bound weapons go through flesh and spirit, reducing magic resistance by 30% for 5 seconds. That actually doesn't matter for the arrows we throw, but it would matter if we got a companion that actually flung spells, like for instance, the Priestess of Azura. Okay, so that's probably why I wanted to go down this route? I don't remember. Induce a Battle Rage and a Wielder. Granting 20% extra attack and 100 points of arm rating for 5 seconds when a target is struck. Okay. Hollow Binder reduces magic resistance by additional 30% if you control the Summon Daedra or the other non-undead minion. Now, nah, that's junk. So Dark Whisper is an interesting Brand of the Necromancer. Brand a corpse by striking with a bound weapon or delivering the killing blow with a bound weapon attack. The brand grants 25% attack damage and 100% of health when reanimated or resurrected. Eh. Right, and then I can create... So the Conjuration Tree is mostly about being the most badass Necromancer you can be. That has never been one of my goals. So this is totally not the tree for me. I gotta admit, Hollow Binding is a little tempting. But it doesn't matter for right now, so I'm not gonna pick up the perk. Not yet. Maybe later. Uh, feed the monster. Able to feed human flesh to summon a reanimator. That is disturbing, and I do not want to do that. What do you think this is? Rimworld? I think I made that joke earlier, too. Uh, we've never done Illusion for some reason. Is there anything good in the Illusion Tree? Let's see. Dream Thief. Activate sleeping victims to steal their dreams. Increasing the effective Illusion of spells by 50% for 3,600 seconds. Roughly 15 minutes? I don't think I'm doing the math right. My affecting spells are 15 points stronger. Affecting spells on others. Activate sleeping vessels to project yourself in their dream, improving their disposition towards you. Huh. Alright. Activate any human under the effect of a fear spell. Nope. Nope, you lost me instantly. Those affected by a frenzy spell are affected within the radius of imposing presence are consumed by battle hunger when there are no other enemies remaining, taking 40% for 40 points of damage per second. Okay. After using Activate perk, Illusion spells are 50% more powerful. Alright. Activating Humanoid and the effect of a Frenzy spell. What is with the Frenzy spells? Is that just big on Illusion? There's not much in the Illusion thing. Summon Illusion on the target. Illusion fight for target for 60 seconds. The target won't flee for its duration. For 5 minutes, roughly. Mm, no, I'm not wild about any of these. Sneaking while under the vision of the 10th eye spell will summon disembodied eye under your control. The eye has one point of health, but is invisible and silent. Okay, we'll vision the eye. I already have the night eye power. So that's not helpful, being, you know, Khajiit and all. So vision of the night eye power, you must, or you must know the magic spell. I'm guessing that's a spell we need to actually, like, get in the illusion tree. Okay, this is not going to work for me either. Spending way too much time in this. So there's alchemy. Uh, we can't really get much there. We can do... Let's see. Right, one Alchemy Advanced Lab. Oil. Beneficial. Two things. All negative potion. That's right. We haven't actually worked with that very much. Amplify Lethality would be cool. Poisons are highly corrosive, enabling you to ignore 40% of the armor rating effective target. Yeah, if you remember to use the poisons, which I don't. This is cool. Poison applied to weapons last for one additional hit. Eh, it's, it's okay. It's not that great. Return 2% of your mana. See, these are not that good. These are not that good. I'm fine. Thank you. How about speech? I already have the... Basically, I can invest in anybody right now. Yeah, what is this one over here? Business relation. Um, we have to choose somebody. I would have a hard time doing that. So fence here is good. And that we don't care about. Earthquake drum um, down here. Oh, can perform a combat to unleash shockwaves. Interesting crowd control thing, but weird. Proves your wild companion, right? Because you can speak with animals. Um, no, this I don't care about. This is all about money, and we're we're full up on money. Thank you. Pickpocket, maybe lockpicking. 
You know what? What about enchanting? How about enchanting? Sneak? Yeah, whatever. whatever. What about enchanting? Though? Archery. Could go further down the archery tree. We're already at 68. We do no additional damage. I'm going to do a little bit of extra damage. Not that much. That's not bad. 20% more damage to target full health. Could do it. I don't care about the zoom. Slowing doesn't matter either. Okay, if it's a long shot. Now, I think most of our shots aren't going to be that long. So, I think we'll go ahead and do clean kill. Enchanting is good, too. But I think clean kill is fine. All right, that's been way too long with that. Sorry about that. All right, so let's go. I probably should have done that earlier. I think I actually had the level up just waiting for me. Nobody else appears to be here, so we're good there. Disturbing little gate. Oh, probably because there's a monster in here? Gotta be a chore or something in here, right? There's a bunch of eggs. Just a random fire. That doesn't water good. rushing through these pipes. We must be beneath the lake. I mean, she's probably not wrong. Could grab all the Chorus eggs, but one, I don't know what they're good for, and two, that's a lot of work. And three, I don't feel like it right now. No big monsters, as far as I can tell. Where the heck? Okay, we'll just pick up what we can. Oh, this guy, hello. Really don't need the uh, souls, but I'll take what I can get. I was hoping that would distract that guy, but it did not do it. Oh no, there he goes. He's distracted. He detected me, though. There we go. That did suck, though. Hold on. Fortunately, I do have plenty of magic. And plenty of health, so we're, we're doing alright. Alright, strangely enough, no chores. You know what? I didn't actually grab this stuff. Hold up. Hold up. Got so distracted, I forgot to loot. What kind of madness is this? Forgetting to loot? You feeling all right? Someone check his pulse. He forgot to loot. Also, how the hell did Mercer do this? Just a bunch of invisibility potions? The guy must have come in with a freaking stack of them. Even with invisibility potions, that plus muffling, though, I guess. Did the Thieves Guild boots let you muffle? I forget. I don't remember. Maybe. Surprisingly still alive. And not so much. Okay, this is bad. Oh, sorry. Sorry, bring you off. Sorry, bring you off. You did walk right in front of me when I was actually, you know, shooting, though. So really, you know, kind of your own bad. But I appreciate the help. And apparently the Daedric Arrow. Not the freaking Shadow Master of the Chorus. There you go. I'm also a little unclear how I hit this guy the second time. Third time? One of those. The killing blow. A little unclear how I landed the killing blow, because I was... I mean, I was aiming at him, to be fair. But I did... I think I shot through his friend? I don't know. It's all very strange. It's going to count as a win, and we'll just go. Um, all right, sure. Potion of ultimate healing just laying there for some reason. Very strange. All right, sure. We'll grab some eggs. What the hell? Doesn't take that long, right? It's weird. There's not many items like this where you just manage to pick them up. I mean, I guess every single one of the alchemical ingredients are like that, right? But I always expect with Chorus eggs to have to go through inventory like the, uh, the spider eggs. Spider eggs aren't like that. Why aren't spider eggs like that? They should be. Okay, there's probably a warmonger over here. Get out of my way, guys. Yep, there he is. He looked at his dead friend. That's not a warmonger, though. That's a skulker. And he went to go look at the arrow that I threw over there because I'm a bad shot, but I'm going to say I totally did it on purpose. Come on, skulker, get over here. I need to be able to murder you. He went down below the thing. I can't get him from here. Should be able to take him out in one shot, though. He's not a warmonger. He has basically shit armor. 
What? Death from the shadows. All right. That was in his leg, but it worked out anyway. You guys all right? Yeah, you just have a big giant icicle through your chest. You're fine. You're fine. Really, who nowadays doesn't have a big old icicle through their chest, you know? Insert political commentary here. Would it be political? Maybe. I mean, I guess it depends on what exactly is causing the icicle through your chest. It could be political. It could just be emotional. In general, some kind of psychological condition. He's close. I'm certain of it. We must prepare ourselves. All right, I'm not sure how to prepare myself aside from, you know, recasting Daedric Bow. I suppose Iron Flesh wouldn't be a bad idea either. Um, chances are there's going to be some talking, though. Yeah. I mean, not exactly a cutscene, but nothing I can really interact with, so let's just go in. Actually, no, we're going to save the game. It's going to save automatically, so... I was going to save, but no worries. Here, and he hasn't seen us yet. Brynjolf, watch the door. Aye, lass. Nothing's getting by me. Climb down that ledge. See if you can... Nope, Carlisle, when will you learn you can't get the drop on me? And let me do anything yet? Nope, not yet. When brought you before me, I could feel a sudden shift in the wind. And at that moment, I knew it would end with one of us at the end of a blade. Redbeer will take the key, Mercer. What's Carlisle been filling your head with? Tales of thieves with honor? Oaths ripe with falsehoods and broken promises? Nocturnal doesn't care about you, the key, or anything having to do with the guild. Leave Nocturnal out of this, Mercer. This is between the two of us, here, now. Revenge, is it? Have you learned nothing from your time with us? When will you open your eyes and realize how little my actions differ from yours? Both of us lie, cheat, and steal to further our own end. No. By seeking to lower this one to your level, you admit how worthless you are. It's clear you'll never see the skeleton key as I do, as an instrument of limitless wealth. Instead, you've chosen to fall over your own foolish code. If anyone falls this day, it will be you. Reedbeer will make sure of that. Then the die is cast, and once again, my blade will taste Nightingale blood. Carlisle, Wait. I'll deal with... All right. Well, let's not worry about that yet. Let's do Iron Flesh first. Enough, After guys. I rid myself let's of your this. irksome companions. In he the meantime, perhaps you and Brynjolf should get better acquainted. Um, all right. Can I... Just just in case. Let's go ahead and conjure her scene here. What's happening? I can't stop myself. Damn you, Mercer. Fight it, Bruno. He's taken control of All the way up there. I'm sorry, Lars. I, I can't. Uh, the dogs are going after Mercer, which is great. That'll help. Not a whole, by a whole lot, but still, it'll help. Yeah, he'll, he'll dissolve the dogs, but Hearn will help here. Yeah, he disappeared again. He's up that way. I can see kind of a little bit. There's a distortion effect, but it's a very subtle. Yeah, there we go. Hearn saw him. That did not work. Doesn't have full health, so I don't get the bonuses there, but he is distracted. Damn it, I can't lock onto him here. Stop moving, Mercer. He's still trying to run up there. Is that what he's trying to do? I'm a little unclear. All right, well, we can shout at him. Yeah, under level two force, that sounds great. Uh, we just flew down. Or fell down? Yep, there he is, okay. Let's do this. Close ones on the left hand, bounce sword on the right. Not yet. Where the hell did he go? How many? He must have invisibility as a spell. There's no way he has been. Sw yeah, there's been no way he's been. Uh, he's been it this whole time. Okay, we can get do. We can do this. We can do this. Yeah, he's got double. Oh, I can't shout at him yet, but I don't need to. 
Brynjolf is fighting Carlyle over there. Where'd he go? Did he go behind me? He died. How did he die? No luck did there, he fall? Something must have fallen on the other side of the door because it isn't moving. He must have fallen or something? I'm very confused how he died. At this point, I think we'll just take everything. Left eye of the Falmer. Okay. Right eye of the Falmer. And there's a skeleton key. You know, let's just take everything. Bow Domishing. He didn't use that at all. Sword Devouring. I'm assuming that was one of the swords he used. All right. Let's just take everything. We have to find another way out of here before the place fills with water. I mean, if it fills with water, that should be okay by me. Because I can, you know... I can... Uh, I can breathe water. Well, I have a mask that lets me do that. So I might actually have that with me. Do I have it with me? It'd be kind of funny if I didn't. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Not to circle it. It'd be head. Oh, there we go. Breathe underwater. Yep. So I have Volsung. Don't worry, guys. Oh, um, you don't have Volsung, huh? That could be a problem. A bunch of dead guys over here. Let's see. A Falmer. Take that. Don't worry, guys. Um, I won't die. Um, you guys weren't worried about that, were you? Mercer, we've already gotten. Okay, chances are it's filling up because that's probably the way out, right? It's like we're supposed to go through one of these pipes or something. That's got to be it. Yeah, that's probably it. So we're supposed to go through. We just got to wait for this to fill up. I don't think that really makes sense. Otherwise, I don't know what. But like, the water's coming from somewhere. But if we just let the pressure equalize, we should be able to swim through it. I mean, I'm in no danger. Maybe through here? That might be big enough to crawl through? I don't know. Let's see. Don't see an indicator of... Yeah, there's nothing. Nope, can't do anything. Nope, can't get inside of it. Okay. Might be up then. I mean, really, right now, I have an infinite amount of time, right? I can I can breathe I can breathe underwater. We're good. It's pretty high now. All right, see if I can go through. Nope, can't get through that yet. Water keeps rising. Boy, it's misty in here, isn't it? Okay, let's just look around a bit, just to make sure. Oh, you know what? Clairvoyance should probably tell me, huh? Yeah, let's look at Clairvoyance. Da, 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 there he is. Oh, though I can't cast while I'm underwater. Right, right, right. Oh. Um, well. The water stopped rising. No, 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 it's still rising. It's still rising. Okay, well, that wasn't it. We do have an infinite amount of time, so I'm not really worried. It's murky as all hell, though. But yeah, I can't cast water while I'm under underwater. Forgot about that. Very murky. Well, there's a... There's a quest marker. That's around here somewhere? It's funny the blood hasn't actually, like, done anything. Alright, well, a scepter doesn't do anything either. It's a neat little mushroom. Oh, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. We could climb through there if this water would just rise up more. Oh, or we're done. All right. That's that's it. Yeah, so we do have to wait for the water to rise. Okay. Bronze water cave. More Falmer? I mean, I'm really puzzled how the hell Mercer died. It makes no goddamn sense. Sorry, lad. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time. All right, sure. Hey, Carla. I'm supposed to talk to you, I think. I can't believe it's over. 25 years in exile and just like that, it's done. Yeah, I think he was struck by a rock. What remains is to ensure the safe return of the skeleton key. Okay. With Mercer's corpse rotting in a dreamer ruin, it should be easy enough, no? I'm afraid it's not that simple. When the skeleton key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulchre, our access to the inner sanctum was removed. The only way to bring it back will be through the Pilgrim's Path. Hmm, the Pilgrim's Path, you say? What are you not telling Riedvir? It wasn't created for the Nightingales. It was created to test those who wish to serve Nocturnal in other ways. As a consequence, I have no knowledge of what you'll be facing. Then we'd best put her away, no? Brynjolf is needed back at the Thieves' Guild to keep order while you're away. And I... I can't bear to face Nocturnal after my failure to protect the key. I'm afraid you'll have to face the end of your journey alone. Yeah, you're bloody useless, what you just said there. Be not concerned, Carlyle. Riedvira will return the key to the Sepulchre. Take this with you. I'm not certain if it will help within the walls of the Sepulchre, but I certainly don't need it as much as you. I've had this bow almost my entire life, and it's never let me down. I hope it brings you the same luck. 
Okay, I really don't need another bow, but sure. Um, yeah, Reed River wishes to know more about the Pilgrim's Path. Even though Nocturnal doesn't desire worship in the traditional sense, the Twilight Sepulchre propagated a small group of priests. Of course, they never come into direct contact with Nocturnal, but they insisted they had her favor. As part of their duties, the priests created all sorts of baseless rituals and ceremonies, all on Nocturnal's behalf. And this did not interfere with the Nightingales? These priests weren't a threat to the Skeleton Key, or the conduit to Nocturnal's realm, so they were tolerated. One of their ceremonies involved the Pilgrim's Path, a so-called test of worthiness. If a Pilgrim was able to complete the path, it was said that they would live forever in twilight. What that means is anyone's guess. So tell Redbeer about the conduit inside of the sepulchre. The conduit to Nocturnal's realm, the realm of Everglow, has been in Skyrim, well, longer than recorded history. The Twilight Sepulchre was constructed around it by man and myrrh in order to shield it from those who would exploit its power. It's through this conduit that we're given Nocturnal's greatest gift, our luck. What she gains in return is a complete mystery. Well, your souls. Isn't that obvious? You had to give her your souls to become a nightingale. It's not exactly a mystery. Come on. Alright, well, then I guess I'm going to go ahead and return this thing. Now, we could keep it, but that would make Shelly us as bad as Mercer. Got important things to do. We'll speak and frankly, I'd rather not be associated with a guy who basically was dumb enough to walk around while invisible and he got his head struck by a rock, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm missing stuff up. I don't actually know. I understand. It pulls the water from the ice there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we need to go to the Sepulchre. Which is somewhere, I'm sure, all the way in some place I lost. There we go, over here. Oh, well, it's a barrow. Either one of those would do. It's probably up a mountain, so let's go crack tusk keep. It's probably going to be the closest anyway. But hey, barrow means possible word power. Oh, right, this is the, uh, this is the orcs. Totally forgot about the orcs. Um, I don't need the orcs right now, though, so we're good. Though they are supposed to be good blacksmiths. Eh, it's not gonna help me right now. Although, we do, we can't train by those guys, never mind, never mind. We need to go to Markarth for that anyway. Get properly trained. And then probably need to spend a little bit of time off camera just whittling away. Um, so roughly that direction, there's gotta be steps or stairs or something. A path, at least. Possibly even a dragon. At this point, though, pretty much done with dragons? I mean, we're not. We're not done with dragons at all. You know, because we still have the whole main quest thing to do. But I'm, like, emotionally done with dragons? Something like that? I don't know. Something like that. But we still have the Dragonborn DLC to do. I think the next thing to do after we're done with this Thieves Guild thing... We're still, of course, going to do the Thieves Guild and Assassin contracts... Because we still have a lot of those left to do. Who are you, treasure hunter? Note from a treasure hunter. Okay, sure. Um, do, 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 do. Note. Note from a treasure hunter. Close to finding the Dwarven Sword of Consuming. I've tracked it down to Valky. It's apparently guarded by a Draugr Deathlord. It's actually not that bad. Valky. Have we been to Valky? Well, it's on our map now. I think it's now a miscellaneous quest for us, right? Um, do, 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 yep, yep, yep. Oh, we can return now to the Falmer of Delvin. Okay, well, I'm sure that'll happen eventually. So yeah, we're going to be doing, um, Assassin's Guild and Thieves' Guild quests pretty much, it seems like, for all eternity. Maybe even Companion Guild quests. Uh, but what I do want to do is, uh, the Dongard DLC. So I'm going to finally get rid of this freaking well werewolf curse that's been playing us for I don't even know how long now. Who the hell spots me? Is it the fox? There's actually a red mark on the compass. Could it be a dragon? It's like winding its way. Yep, it's a dragon. It's a dragon. Okay. 
I don't think he exactly knows where I am, but it's going to be close enough to make no real difference. Oh, that was not... Oh, that's clairvoyance. Haha. <laughs> that's not helpful. Um, I thought for some reason it was Iron Flesh. So we know Iron Flesh is there. And give me Bound Bow here. I said I was done with dragons, but the dragons are not done with me. How'd he go? There we go. I see him. I see the red mark. The trouble is he doesn't know where I am. I could shout at him. I don't even know if that'll reach him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it did. Uh, just as dragon. This guy's going to drop easy, no question. Hello there, dragon. Oh, hello. I was not expecting you to be right there. I just shout it. Do you mind? You don't mind. Okay. Okay. I can't apparently move backward. Oh, because I'm on a freaking cliff. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go ahead and get close wounds and conjure hern. Let's get that conjuration skill up, you know. All right. Whoa, hello. You just land right on me. He's gonna bash those guys, but that shouldn't matter. Let's grab the bleeding blade here. Get some little bit of help. <laughs> There we go. Oh, we're gonna actually holy shit. That's a bad that's a bad angle. I think we're on top of him. I can't really tell. I can't tell what's going on. Okay. We appeared in a rock. That was very weird. He is dead now. That was a very strange angle there, game. I don't know why you chose that particular angle. There we go. Yet another dragon soul consumed. Uh, thank you, Hearn, for your help. I appreciate it. You were a very good distraction. Better than companion most times. Really, a companion you can summon pretty much any time is fantastic. Okay, let's get to this Twilight Sepulchre thing here. Who knows how long this is going to take us. I'm tempted to say we don't finish the episode until we're done, but that seems a little crazy because I don't know if we can do this in 15 minutes. Maybe? I mean, we did the Mercer fight faster than I thought we would. There's probably a bunch of... Still? Don't tell me there's another... Oh, because you see me. Okay. Well, you're going to go away. There you go. <laughs> okay. So there's probably going to be a bunch of spiders in here. I only say that because, you know, spider webs. Read something weird the other day. Makes no real sense to me, but nevertheless is what they say. Oh, never mind. We're going to have to talk to this guy first. We'll deal with rumors and innuendo later. Hello, random ghost. How you doing? I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? Raidvera would ask the same question of you. The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. The last? What happened to the rest, hmm? We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. How are you to blame, exactly? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. Ah, we know exactly who you are. You are Gallus, yes? I haven't heard that name in a long time. Be a couple of decades for him. How do you know of me? Redivere has the key. The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Dead. Killed by Readver's own hand. Sort of. Then, it's over. And my death wasn't in vain. Well, that's not going too far. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. Readver did this to honor the guild. You've done the guild a great deal, and although they may not show it, I'm certain they appreciate your sacrifices. Yeah, don't tell Vex that. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Well, sort of. Revere was helped by Carlia. Carlia? She's still alive? Um, I feared sort of. she'd befallen the same fate. 
ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Then take the key and right all the wrongs. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key. But I'm afraid it's impossible. Oh, color me surprised. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. How can a spirit die, hmm? The sepulcher isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. Then Revere would proceed alone, yes? I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Ebonair and replacing the key. So we've been told. Okay, what is wrong with the other Nightingale Sentinels, hmm? With the Ebonmere closed, and their sudden severance from the realm of Everglow, I fear they've undergone a drastic change. They're shadows of their former selves. They no longer remember their true purpose, or their original identities. But you are different, yes? My spirit didn't manifest itself in the Sepulchre immediately. So, fortunately, I wasn't present when the Ebonmere was sealed. However, ever since that day, I've felt my power waning, slowly draining away. All right. Because you're just curious. What will he face in the Pilgrim's Path? I wish I could help you, but I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Follow in your footsteps. I don't think that means what you think it means. I'm following in his footsteps, right? Good luck, Nightingale. Or who tried to precede you, or... That's a very weird statement that doesn't... Yeah, doesn't make any much sense. Alright, so it's theoretically... Yeah, okay, there's a journal over there. Thank you for that. Wow, he's been here a while. Um, sure. Nystrom's journal. Got it. Ebony Warrocks of Storms. Cool. Oh, sorry about your head. Uh, uh, um, sorry about that. Can you... Yeah. Alright. Yeah, sorry about that, Nystrom. Alright, what does it say? Journal Nystrom's. There we go. I don't know why I let Andrus talk me into this plan. He said the place would be full of riches, but I have yet to see even a single gold coin. To make matters worse, I think the other priests are beginning to suspect we aren't who we say we are. If they discover we're posing as priests of Nocturnal, I'm sure they're not going to simply ask us to leap nicely. I'll have to watch my step. As a acolyte of Nocturnal, I've been assigned a mentor. Old Dark Elf fellow by the name of Lithless. Maybe if I act the part, I can price some information about, from him about the Pilgrim's Path. Anders swears to me that all of Temple's wealth is stashed within the Inner Sanctum, which supposedly says at the end of the path. So my job is to get us through the obstacles alive. Lithius was easier to coax than I expected. Gave me a wealth of information on the Pilgrim's Path, but he was speaking in riddles. I'll try to record what I remember here and share it with Anders after he's done with his mentor. The only thing likely I seemed to clear about was that there were five tests on the path. This is what he said about each. Shadows of their former selves, sentinels of the dark. They wander evermore and deal swift death to defilers. Above all they stand, vigilance everlasting, beholden to the mark, or beholden to the murk, yet contentious of the glow. Offer what she desires most, but reject the material. For her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Seen, felt, or carried. Souls? Maybe? Might be able to do with a soul gem. I have no idea. Alright. Direct and yet indirect. The path of salvation, a route of cunning with fortune betraying the foolish. Okay, don't go for gold. Got it. The journey is complete. The Empress's embrace awaits the fallen. Hesitate not if you wish to give her your eternal devotion. He also mumbled some nonsensical phrases like night is the new day and how he was the ghost of the sun. I have no idea what these cryptic sentiments mean, but hopefully during tomorrow's ritual, Anders now will put everything we've learned to the test. And then he died. 
Okay. Didn't work out for him. All right, so yeah, blade's probably not the way to go there. Let's go bound bow and close wounds. That's probably the safest bet. All right. And then probably sneak the rest of the way because we're gonna have to knock out pretty much all of these ghostly sentinels. And my guess is they're not gonna be friendly. Sure, why not? I'll take the troll fat. What the heck? What the heck? I'm guessing ghost arrows can take down a ghost. I mean, they've done it before. Just don't step on any traps. That's all it's required. Just don't step on any traps at all. Or step on all the traps. Either way, choose one or the other. Oh, hello, ghost there. Oh, that sucks. I was kind of hoping it would take you out immediately. You see me exactly right. No one hatched from the dead, huh? There we go. Okay, so that's actually a person. So that's why we didn't have a soul gem large enough. Or we were out of great soul gems, but I don't think that's true either. Alright, what do we got? We have books of various types. We have potions. Definitely gonna take the potions. One poison, void salt, sure. Don't know where the heck we get void salts on the regular. Extended visibility, that sounds possibly entertaining. Bone meal, and not much there. Alright. Don't see anything on the other side, though. That looks like the way, probably the way back. Yeah, that's probably the way back. Okay. Well, let's see what the ghost is carrying. Is he carrying, like, a real bow? That'd be kind of cool. He was carrying real arrows somehow. I don't ask questions. Because it's not really important. Yeah, so unfortunately... Okay, that's real unfortunate, too. That's a trap. Unfortunately, one shot will not take these guys out. I'm going to try a headshot here, and hopefully that works. It was a good headshot. But she still lived. I mean, I could shout at her. That might work. There we go. Did I set somebody else up there? No? Alright. Or maybe I do. Maybe I'm totally hallucinating. I mean, I'm seen somehow, but I don't know how. Ow. Oh, there's somebody. Where the hell did he come from? Um, that was a bunch of traps, apparently. He, did he set off the traps? I think he did. Okay, I'm gonna try to juke here. Alright, just gotta juke. Gotta juke and also be able to hit. It's a critical component of juking. Is not to injure your own ability to actually hit the person you're going for here. Come on, you gotta come back. You gotta come back. How did I miss this person before? Oh, I'm still wearing the mask, too. Oh, that doesn't matter too much. Okay, don't step on the trap. Alvin Arrows again. Okay. Probably should not have put my bow away. Well, I keep on summoning it. Keep on raising those points in conjuration. Why the hell not? Section of the first trap. My guess is you don't step in the light. Right? Probably not. You step in the light, you burn or something? I don't know. The dark doesn't seem to hurt us. Let's look at that journal again. Okay. Shadows of the former self, sentinels of the dark. They wonder more. And deal swiftly to the fires, right? Okay. Beholden to the murk, yet contentious of the glow. Yeah, so the glow probably hurts us. I suppose we can put out the glow. Yeah, okay, so the guy there dead in the light, probably a good indicator. Alright, so the light is probably lethal. So, don't step in it. Got it. I think I, yeah, I stepped on a trap. Not a big deal, because I saw it coming. Can I put out these lights? Is that actually a thing? It's probably not a thing. Um, let's see. I need to get over there. Because that's where the stairs are. How do I get over there? 
Well, I could take the long route. But what I could also do is just shout. That would get me over there. It would hurt a little bit because I would be in the light for a brief little while, but not too long. All right, let's try it. We're one sprint. Here we go. What? Nope, too far. Too far. Oh, actually, it worked out. I did go a little far, though. Actually, longer than I wanted to go. Yeah, there's no path up from here. I could fall into the pit of doom, but let's not. Let's not fall into pits of doom. Really wish I could put out those freaking fires, though. So I can't... Yeah, I can't edge along here. Okay. Not a thing. Yeah, I think I'm burning just a little bit by going to the fire. But we do have clairvoyance. Or not clairvoyance. Um, we do have clairvoyance, but... We also have healing. Let's go down this way. Maybe not the tripwire. Okay. It's actually not so bad. If it's just a bunch of tripwires, we're fine. Go along this side. So don't go too far into the light. Not too far into the light, I said. We're going to have to go the long way around, basically. And keep going the long way around. Not so bad. Um, tempted to shout for this. But I probably shouldn't try to take any shortcuts, right? Oh, hello. That hurt. It's okay. We're good. We're good. That's why we have heals on the regular. Don't go that way. Yep. More of those. Somehow that hit me. I think I'm still poisoned. I think that's all it was. Okay. A little narrow strip of darkness right there. And I'm guessing we that's what brought we have to follow. Just a narrow strip of darkness. Kind of edge along there. There you go. And good to go. All right, that wasn't so bad. Okay, so now we're in the second part. I have no idea. These at least don't hurt us. Let's see what the journal says here. Okay, so we did conditions of the glow. Okay. Offer what she desires most, but reject the material. For her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Yeah, my guess is souls. But I don't know that for sure. I'll take that stuff. I we aren't punished for it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, I guess we just walk along this now. Okay, so she wants a gift. Soul gem fragment's probably not enough. I mean, he has a grand soul gem, but it's got to be full, right? It's probably got to be full. Okay, we have a lot of soul gems. Soul gems, soul gems, soul gems. There we go. Common? Or maybe she wants a black soul gem? It's only filled with a grand soul, but that might be okay. What if I drop that? And give her... There. Drop that in there. There you go. Now? I mean... Maybe you don't like black souls. That's totally fair. Totally fair. Maybe what you liked instead of grand souls? I don't think I have any grand souls. Do I have any grand souls? Greater souls. I have grand soul gems that are filled with lesser things than actually a grand soul, unfortunately. And these are a star is filled with a petty, unfortunately. I have a greater soul gem that has a greater in it, so I'm going to drop... It's not going to drop all of those, but... Now they're gone forever. I don't actually see them. They might be gone forever. Excuse me, do you see my grand souls here? I, mean, I think a petty soul would work, but there's a greater soul gem here, which kind of indicates that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Definitely not gold. If I give her a gold, she's going to be very mad at me. Um, let's see. I'm going to have a greater soul inside of a grand soul gem. That's probably not nearly as good, but here, take a grand soul. There. Now? Okay, that's a greater soul gem, so maybe that's all we need. Maybe just greater soul. I mean, I do have a greater soul there. Greater soul. Maybe a greater soul inside of a greater soul gem. Unfortunately, that, oh, oh, there we go. I didn't drop them all. Drop. Why does it... It's being weird. I hit the D button. 
It doesn't actually do it. You cannot equip this. I'm not trying to equip it, you madman. Drop it. There we go. You know, you know what? I hit the D button. That's the wrong button to hit. Yeah, just the one. Okay, so we give that to you. There. Now. Not sold. So maybe it's not souls then. Yeah, she doesn't want it for some reason. Okay. Let me go ahead and take this stuff then. You don't mind, do you? Took the plate too. I don't know if that was bad. Probably shouldn't take the plate. Let's actually leave the plate back there. Um, it's a wooden plate, right? It's a W. Yeah, there we go. So drop that. There you go. Nice fresh plate for you. Um, plate's probably not what you want either, huh? Okay. No, that's fine. She doesn't want souls. Let's look at that list again here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Laughter? How would you do that? I have no idea. Wind? No, you can feel wind. Can you feel a soul? See, that's why I think soul's the right choice. I'm going to think about this some more. Or maybe look at a wiki. But anyway, that'll be this for this episode. Thank you for watching. This has been... She has, her hand is empty. Are we supposed to put something in her hand? Hold up. Before I end the episode. So there's a greater soul here. Drop one of those. Pick this up. Put it in her hand. Maybe. Come on, don't don't do this to me, physics engine. Come on, you can do it. I believe. Don't stop doing that. Okay, put it in her hand. It refuses to be put in her hand. What if I drop it? No, it just goes over. Okay, that didn't work. It's worth a shot, but she can't actually carry anything. That's too bad. Your hands like open and ready for it, but sadly, it's not the way that works. I suppose it goes in that either. Apparently not. Okay, yep, I'll think about this for a minute. Okay, thank you guys for watching. This has been Skyrim. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.